Hello everyone, it's me, Gleekwolz, and I have just received a pretty cool package from Rigor Art Supply, who wanted to send me some of their supplies so I can review it. Um, and I wanted to get first impressions from the box, so I will be recording that first. Also, don't worry, this is not permanent. It's just a henna sort of thing, but it's made with, um fruit anyways and it's really cool and bonus points if you can guess what this might be from or what it was inspired by. Anyways, to the reviewing, lots of packaging for safety, a little note on what I got, okay, let's get out of the box. So Rigor Arts I believe is a little family owned. Um, art supply business and a lot of artists I've seen have been reviewing their little color palette. They had offered to send me some of their brushes, which is pretty cool. This is their premium artist brush collection and uh oh, it looks like their little thingy boot came off, but that's okay. So this is cool. This is a pretty standard set of brushes. They're pretty long, um, normally brushes are pretty long, especially if you paint with acrylic or oils. And it looks like if you, um, aw. So it looks like they send you a little note. Um, and giving you some information about the brushes, which is always good, because not everyone knows how to clean or use those specific brushes once they get them. And like saying do not leave brushes to dry standing upright in a jar and I believe also um, as far as their brushes are concerned it says yeah these can be using for be using these can be used for uh, watercolor and acrylic and oil so all of them but I think it goes without saying don't leave your stuff in water and everything's going to be all right, just fine. So, but they give you, um, before using, uh, well, or so, oh, place in warm water, yeah. Same thing for all new brushes, like how they're all normally stuck together. But these, I like how they're individually wrapped, like in their own packages, instead of just, you know, like they weren't all in here, so like the brushes are going to get damaged. Um, and then it looks like if you ordered like just the brushes that they give you this little pouch, this cool pouch right here, which is really hard finding something big enough to just carry brushes in, let alone a pouch that's uh, sturdy and like just for what you need, that's not $40 just for a pouch, which is weird. But uh, yeah, so these are a variety of brushes and um, Obviously, what is this one? This is a seven. Okay, so it'll tell you the size, and but it does not tell you the type, but it looks like I have two round brushes here. And if I am correct, let me just double check. Okay, these brushes are professional grade. They actually are short handle. They look like they're longer in here because probably because this is really long and I'm really excited now because I don't like long handle brushes but if you're like me and you appreciate short handle brushes way more than you appreciate long handle brushes um, whether you be doing acrylic or watercolor or whatever it is you're doing uh, then these might be for you. Uh, they're double coated wooden handle high quality synthetic brushes um, they do not market or produce natural sable brushes because in order to get the sable, sable suppliers are harvesting animals, which I greatly support. Um, I, I always use uh, synthetic brushes. I do not use brushes that are sable because they come from animals and honestly anybody can put anything on a package just like they do dolphin safe things on your tuna fish and they are still killing the dolphins, but anyways. These come in six useful shapes. You have here a zero round, a number two round, and then where's my other number two? Ah, the number two fan, which would probably be really useful for like 
acrylics and oil. And then you get a, uh, where's my number six? The six is the angular brush for those little side things. Really good for lines, probably. And then um, the eight filbert. I love filberts. Filberts and rounds are my favorite. And not just because they have the cute name, but an eight in filbert and then a seven in flat. So these are pretty standard sizes. Um, very good if you're starting out um, to like figure out what you want to do. Everybody has their own preference, but these are really good sizes. You typically want like a two, a six, an eight, and a seven. Twos are very common, or threes are very common in size. But if you have the right brush, you should be able to get exactly what you need, no matter what size it is, depending upon how long the brush or how much water or paint you get to hold out of it. Another thing they sent me was their um, brush case, which is amazing because I've never had a brush case and I've always treated my brushes awfully. So they have their little signature right here. And then it comes, it looks like it comes with another one of these things, which is cool. So like, even if you don't buy the brushes, you can have one of these and this is uh, maybe if they are wet or and you don't have a second to clean them or to prevent anything else in your bag from getting damaged But obviously you would take your brushes and plenty of other supplies depending upon how big and you obviously they would be out of their packages, but they go in Just like this and I'm really excited about this because I do not have a proper brush holder all of my brushes sit out and get herded because I have never paid the money for this because these have always been wicked expensive and I'm not sure how much um, their store is selling them for but I do have a super cool surprise for you guys um, in that they are allowing me to do a super special giveaway for you guys um, if you go and like the Rigor Art Supply Facebook page and leave a comment um, what you guys would like to win, either a set of the brushes or the brush holder wrap. They will pick two winners and um, they are gonna let you know. So they're gonna give out to you guys especially, just for you, either a set of these brushes or this wonderful, this is really nice, this wonderful um, brush case. But all you have to do is go to Rigor Art Supplies, their Facebook page, like their Facebook page and comment um, telling them that you came from my video and tell them which we would rather, either the brush pack or this, but both are really cool. I am going to do a sample video so you guys can see exactly how well these brushes are and I can tell you my personal opinion on them as far as quality and where to go from there. So let me just create a little piece for you right now. Okay, so I went ahead and I already drew and inked my piece. Um, I actually have had this sitting in my sketchbook for some time now and I've been meaning to paint him, but it is John Wick and I love Keanu Reeves and I love John Wick and uh, I love the second movie. I've actually like had this done since I saw it like two times in the theaters, but I don't know there's been so much going on I haven't I've been starting a lot of things and not really getting a chance to finish them <laughs> but like you know I have a lot of halfway done pieces but it's perfect for this because now I could just paint it and just really enjoy painting um, with the rigor brushes um they're absolutely wonderful um they obviously you know I'm used to using just round brushes, those are my favorite, just personally for watercolor purposes, um, but I actually ended up using the Filbert a lot. I tried to use the round brushes uh, specifically for like tighter points and areas where I just wanted to get in the colors, um, but once I started like getting in, you know, textures and like, you know, the round brushes are good for like details, just like the bullets and all that other stuff. Um, but of course I <laughs> defaulted to the filbert and the round brushes because I love them so much. I tried to use the fan and the flat one a couple of times, but it's like, 
Oh, they, I didn't feel like they were necessary. Like everybody can, I think I'm using the flat brush here. Yeah, just for the sake of doing it. Yeah, I could achieve basically, you know, the same effect, um, probably just a little quicker because it held more paint than the round brushes did. But none of the synthetic, the, uh, the synthetic hairs broke or nothing was like coming off while I was painting. They all held together really nice. Nothing was split. And let me tell you, I'm not gentle with my brushes at all. I'm really bad. And um, the length of the handle was just perfect. Um, as I said, I don't like long handles. Uh, I prefer short handles um, no matter what I'm painting with. Um, Cause I think the long handles just get in my way or for my particular style of painting, I just don't really care for the long handles. Um, but they just worked great. Um, obviously because they're, it's fake and it's, I'm using dark colors, they did stain, but that's what happens with uh, all brushes. But just remember to properly take care of them and clean them with water and such. Um, and even brush cleaner if you have it each time and your brushes will last longer. Um, they were crunchy in the beginning as most brushes are. All you have to do is let them dip them around in some water. Yeah, see I'm trying to use the fan brush so I can get some texture. Uh, Cause I was like, oh yeah, texture. Gotta make this so edgy and grungy and cool. And I try to use as many of the brushes as I can. I think the only one I didn't use was side brush actually because uh, I forgot about it <laughs> um, instead of trying to get some cool angles and stuff uh, but they held plenty of paint they held up really well I really um, had no issue at all using these brushes I really enjoyed them and I honestly think if you guys were to go out and get them for yourselves, you wouldn't be disappointed at all. Um, and I'm not saying that just because I got some for free, but I literally got these for free and this video is not sponsored. So um, this is of course, as per the usual, my honest review. Um, I'm happy to receive uh, some very well-made products and even happier that it is from like a, a family owned business um, coming up. So you could tell that they really care about their stuff and that it's well made and um, I'm really excited that they offered to do a giveaway to you guys especially because I've wanted to do something and I always want to do things for you guys all the time um, special and this is a great opportunity and now you guys have an opportunity to win some cool brushes and um, a brush case and just even if you um, don't win, hopefully, I believe their prices are reasonable, but I believe their store is on Amazon. I will be linking to all of their information um, as per the usual in the description down below. And of course, uh, their Facebook page for you. I'll probably, if it lets me, pop a link up here. So you can just click in it, like it, and uh, say whether or not you would like the case or the brushes and i can't wait to see who wins and i hope you guys are so happy with it um i hope you enjoyed this review i had so much fun making it and i had fun making this video for you guys i hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and i will see you in the next video Bye bye mm -hmm.